peak of Capricorn. Wow, well, you would have known we've crossed the Tropic of Capricorn back on the other side of Alice Springs. We are now at the Tropic of Capricorn in WA, passing back down south into Four Seasons. That's it. So now we are technically in spring on this side of the sign. Let's see if I can feel the difference. Yep. <laughs> Wet, dry. Summer, winter, spring. Awesome. awesome. We are in spring at the moment. What it is? Do you know what it is? Yeah, Tropic of Caracorn. Caracorn? <laughs> right, okay. Now, do you know what that, that is? Thanks, Mum. Do you know where we are? Tropic of Caracorn. Yeah, good job. Here we are, bye. Tropic of Caracorn. In Tory terms, Tropic of Caracorn. So, Tropic of Capricorn. All right, we have left Coral Bay and we are on our way to a free camp. The wind is horrendous over the next week, so we're just, we're not going very far down the road, but there's a free camp down the road about 90k, so we're going there, it's Riverside. It's got phone reception and we've got a few things we need to do. We needed reception. And then tomorrow we head to Carnarvon for a couple of days. Again, wind is terrible. So we've picked a few good days to be able to head out to Quabba. Hopefully it stays that way, but for now, we just have to try and stay inland a bit, away from all this, all this wind. All right, let's hit the road. up from our little free camp it was not a bad spot Min mini hour mini hour riverside or something yeah i'll put it up anyway yeah good free camp rubbish bins everywhere picnic tables everywhere there are little fire pits there that you can cook on there are toilets here and i think there's a dump point over there as well so yeah it's pretty good bloody cockies eh? it's free yes and the cockies have you already told them about the cockies no there's lots of cockies Cock here during the day but they're also here yeah. during the night they didn't stop they didn't well there's probably about three of them that just kept on going during the night it's like mate you're supposed to be a bloody sleep but anyway it is what it is it's all right pretty good otherwise and it's like i say it's free so. i like it <laughs> all right off to carnarvon today so let's go So it's pretty windy today and this is why we're in Carnarvon for a couple of days before we do Quabba because Quabba's going to be blowing its you know what off. So that's why we're into Carnarvon just for a couple of days just to let the, the, the wind die down. But we're going to we're gonna visit Carnarvon for a couple of days but this wind we're going to let it go through and then go down to Quabba. So currently we're at the, at the front beach area we're going to let the kids have a play and have a bit of a look around and I did see that there's like a cafe there, maybe a coffee, it's called Noon Cafe. Don't worry about me like right next to the car. I'm just trying to like less wind noise. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the park.
ียนใช่ใช่ช่วยสัมทอนะไปไปไปแชร์ด้วยเป็นอะไรคอฟฟี่สกุลเซฟแมทแทนอาร์ตเซฟเซฟคุณเป็นคำว่าเมลเบิร์นี่ Does Humpty Dumpty need a shave? Yeah. I think that bush needs to be uh, cut down a little bit. Oh, he needs a shave. He's, if we can just see c r a c k i n g his smile. Now, does anyone know the song "The Humpty Dumpty"? s a t on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. <laughs> All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Do you know? Do you know that song? No, you don't. You, you told me. Oh, all right, all right, okay. Right, you want to stand back there a bit? All right, picture time. Bye, Humpty Dumpty. Have a shave, mate. I didn't know about Carmen. Cause they do bananas. Look at that. Yeah, right there. Next time we'll get your photo. Oh, they got a bit to grow yet. Yeah. Ah. Now, did you know that bananas grew like that? No. Look at that. Well, Schooling on the road. Isn't that cool? Then I'll get your picture. Quite being in Queensland. <laughs> So we're at the cactus farm at Carnival. Looks pretty good. What do you think, Holly? It's cool. Oh, I get my arm out of the way. It looks pretty cool. All right, let's have a bit of a look around, eh? It is only very small. We were, <laughs> we were expecting something a little bit bigger, but um, yeah, just a very small pathway going through there. I thought it was like an actual farm. Yeah, like a, no. yeah, yeah. No, that's all right. It's only a little walkway through there, so um, no, it's actually good to see all the cactus. And there's rhinoceros bones. Right, rhinoceros phones. Bones. Bones. Oh, jeez. I was going to say rhinoceros don't have phones. Cool, man. I reckon it's pretty good. It's only not very far away from town, is it? No. Probably about okay. five minutes, five minutes away from town. Yeah, a couple of k's out the road. Yeah, I reckon it's pretty good just to come out and have a look. Yeah. And the thing that I like about it, it's free. It's free.
got here, Tori? We got a mango and passion fruit ice cream torte. Mmm, yummy. Real stuff. And mango jam, because Daniel absolutely loves mango jam. Let's see if it beats Broom's mango jam. We'll have to do a review. You want to taste? Just ice cream. Ah, that's right, more for me. I'll all right, say that's the right. ice cream. I've only just got the ice cream a bit. Yeah, she's a fresh a little bit. Oh, okay. Now that would taste like ice cream. That's fine, this is just ice cream. No, don't like it, fair enough. You want to try some? It's just ice cream. It's just ice cream. It's just ice cream, there's nothing. It's just ice cream, there's no fruit or nothing in it. It's just vanilla ice cream. Probably just tastes different to... You can say it no, good stuff when you taste it. That's the problem. Still a bit yeah, it won't take long to uh, defrost. I'm gonna get in one. Alright, so what, what's the verdict? Yeah, no, that was pretty good. Pretty good? Mm. Alright, so for that, for that little cup, it was $8.80. But it's real, real mm. Oh, stuff. yes, good stuff though. And the mango jam for the sample jar is $5.50, so it's pretty good. Not badly priced. I'm gonna get me some crumpets from the supermarket and I'll put my mango jam on because that's the way to do it. Crumpets. Ah. Crumpets. And do you think I've been able to get crumpets since leaving Broom? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're doing a boardwalk walk. Something like 100 metres. So we're gonna go and toss it out. Let's go. Let's go. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's got games and everything. Even outside, you can see there's like um, little boat. Oh, a little boat and everything that you can play out there. That's pretty cool. But we're playing a different game. Okay, all right. That's not very stable. Time for coffee? Yep. Time for a coffee. Mm, coffee time. What flavour did you get, Tori? Chocolate. And you what want, about you, Burger? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Chocolate's better. No, cookies and cream is much better. Oh, I like it. A cracker spot. Just to sit back and relax. One mile jetty cafe. Pretty good.
So where are we, D? The kind of one space technology museum. Oh, you cheated. That's right. We're at the space museum. Bro, I'm gonna launch the kids into space. Yeah, I am. And that'll be it. All right, let's go and check it out, Du. You ready, Du? Let's count again. Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, nine, four, three, six, five. We're lifted up into space. Stand by for one Bravo. Mark, one Bravo. We're in space, dude. You should zoom in and send it to Uncle. Yeah. We're in space. Show us. Not too far. Yeah, you film Dad. I'll show you how it, how it's done in the day. So, film me. So I used to go, Mom, can I ring Andrew? Which is my cousin. And Mum would go, Yeah, all right. Right around, you gotta go right around. Hi! Hello? Can I come and play? I'll be over in 15 minutes, gonna ride my bike. Okay, bye! And that's how we used to make phone calls back in the day. 
not the sort of stuff that we use now in mobile phones. That's how we used to do it. Righto, so we just finished the uh, the Carnivan uh, Space Exhibition. Museum. Museum. Whatever you want to call it. I reckon it's pretty bloody good. Yeah, well worth it. Well worth it. It is. We came in at 10 and it is now quarter to one, so. Yeah. It's good that, uh, you know, you can do half of it and then you go and have a coffee. And the coffee's free. Coffee tea is complimentary. Mm. There's soft drink fruit boxes and muffins and chocolate bars and stuff if you want that that costs a couple of bucks but that's not too bad uh, it's pretty good very informative um lots of hands-on for the kids which is which is good yeah it's a lot of phase three is full-on interactive like it's really good i mean you get to go into the um on entry you get a little buzzer and you get to go into the um apollo 11 mm. capsule and then that gives you a bit of an experience kids can dress up in astronaut suits mm. Yeah, no, it's all pretty good. Come and check it out in Carnarvon. Right. I challenge anyone to land the shuttle on the hardest setting like I did. But uh, I won't mention that it took me about four attempts to do it. <laughs> all right. 10 out of 10, guys. If you're in Carnarvon, come and check it out. It's, it's definitely well worth it. All righty. I better show you where we've been staying at Carnarvon for the last few nights. Three nights to be exact. Uh, we did originally book in for two. That's too much to explore. So we had to book for another one. And I'll tell you why, it's not a bad price either. So they had a special going at the time. It was 25 bucks for a powered site. Pretty good. But of course we got kids. And it bumps it up even more to 37, which is still pretty good anyway. But it is a talk park. I love talk parks. If you don't have the membership and you've got kids, definitely get a talk membership. There are quite a few around Australia that do it. So sign up and kids stay free. Don't quote me. I think for the first two nights, which is pretty good. So they are a good day park as well where we're staying. So uh, even more discounts. So get onto that. If you don't have those things like Big Four, Get A, Talk, make sure you get your memberships before you hit full time on the road or if you're just traveling around weekenders so i'll stop uh, talking and show you exactly where we're staying now the thing is is but when you get into carnivan your car and your caravan are probably bloody dirty from all those dirt roads and right next to the caravan park is a car wash which i'll show you as well so good
look at the a caravan, boat and motorhome cleaning bay. Good work. sign they do um, wood fired pizza every Friday night if they don't make it for you you got to bring your own pizza and they put it on the wood fire for you hmm so there you go This is called the shed, mate. This is probably one of the best, best things about the caravan park. It's a bit like a man shed. It's pretty good. You spend all day here. Let's have a look. So we spent a bit of time out here. So uh, I'll show you a little bit of footage of me being awesome on the bowling green. Yeah, I'm about at the ripe age of doing lawn bowls. All right, let's keep on going. Very good. So once school work is done, we can hit the road. So that is a wrap for us in Carnarvon, as you've seen. We did get up to quite a bit. You know, we had a lot of opinions before coming here. Don't stop in Carnarvon. Just keep driving through. There's nothing to see. It's a, you know, run down town, not very nice, blah, blah, blah. None of the above. None of the above. No. Nah. No, nah, we got a good vibe in Carnarvon most oh, of the time. We got, yeah, it was pretty good. We did plenty, mm. as you have seen, and mm. there's more to do that we didn't do. Like, there's museums and there's a Fruit Loop run that wasn't here at the moment because it's out of season. So, basically, Fruit Loop run is because there's so many harvests around here and produce mm. producers that you basically do a trail of all the fruit stalls. Mm. Pick up some cheap fruit. Yeah. But we also did it on windy days as well. 
and windy days put a bit of a dampener on the, on the location that you're at so you need to look past that and uh, you can do that at Carnarvon because that, that front beach area would be quite good. It's on, like all palm trees. It's mm, like really, really bliss. Grass area. Grass nice, areas. Nice cafes everywhere. Playgrounds. But you've seen all of that anyway. So, yeah. So, three nights at Carnarvon. You could yep. probably do another one if you really wanted like to. Like I said, there's a couple of spots and yeah. things we didn't do. And in peak season, you probably could. There'd be a lot more on. Mm. So, yeah. So, no. Nah, pretty good. We're happy with it. All right, guys. That's it. We'll leave that episode there. And we will catch you next time. Where are we going? Well, it really depends. No, we'll just hook the van up. Nah. See ya. We'll Heading down up. towards the Shark Bay area. Yep. That'd be good. So that'll be the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we will, we will see you next time. Bye.